Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Tim Martell and we are here today at the Scratch DJ Academy. So today we're going to be talking about some EQing techniques. So the biggest thing here in playing with your EQs is going to be the low end. We don't necessarily want to drop the low end completely out. We can even incorporate the mids where it's the same thing. We're not going to take the mids completely out. We're just going to cut them maybe around to like 9 o'clock. The song that's going to be coming in, I'm going to keep at 12 o'clock full. So we'll always have a full track playing and never have a completely lost track where uh, our bass or our mids are all the way out. As you see me bringing in the next track in full, I will slowly cut the lows and the mids, not all the way, maybe it's around 9 o'clock. As you see, I am brought up my next track to around a volume of 7 or 8, and I still have my bass in. Paying attention to the sound and not completely dropping it out. Now instead of just bringing down my volume, I'm going to cut the mids. You can also come over to the second track and adjust the gain. I'm still letting my mix go as you see. And now I can start to bring down my volume of the first track. Big tip, some DJs like to have their low ends off of the track that is coming in and then when they're bringing up the track, then switching the volumes. That can be tricky because you might have a dropout of low ends where there won't be a full sound and that could sense to a crowd that something is off or something went out. Uh, I like to keep my basses all the way at 12 o'clock. This way we're never losing that full sound. I'm not necessarily rushing my basses out. I'm taking, uh, depending on the structure of the song, bringing up my volume and taking out my low ends or my mids so everything is timed out to the structure. My name is Tim Martell. Thanks for hanging out with me at the Scratch DJ Academy.